How's everyone doing? This is Jacob at Soma Techie, bringing you the video remake that I've been slacking on. Don't starve together, PC, split screen, and this tutorial will be made without background music. It's going to be a, a million times easier for you guys, a lot more user friendly, and a lot quicker as Nucleus Co-op has had numerous updates since my last video. But before we get started, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and drop a comment if you have any questions. If I'm not able to answer it, somebody here will. So first, we're going to download Nucleus Co-op from GitHub. This is a modded version of 0.9.9 R4. I will put the link in the description. And to download it, you just click on the RAR file here. And then you would go ahead and save the file. I already have it saved on my desktop, so I'm going to hit cancel. And then you want to extract the file with whatever extractor you use, WinRAR, 7-zip, WinZip. Doesn't matter. I'm just going to extract that to its own folder here. And that is a Nucleus Co-op. So we can go ahead and go inside that folder, run the Nucleus Co-op application, and we are going to uh, download game script. You want to make sure you type in don't starve together exactly as shown with the apostrophe on don't and the D, S, and T capitalized. Search, and we're going to go ahead and click on that download the script and this is going to ask you to locate your game file um, so I'm going to go ahead and go to my D drive which is where I have it saved Steam library, Steam apps, common don't starve together bin and there's the don't starve together exe we're going to hit ok you don't need any cracked version or anything like before you just you know use your Steam version um, now that we can, we can click on Don't Starve Together, and I have a keyboard and a controller plugged in. Um, I know you guys asked us a lot before in the last video if you can use keyboard and controller. You know, didn't know if it worked then, but it definitely works now. Um, you can use keyboard and controller simultaneously. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to split the screen. You click on the little box there, you know, split the screen how you want it. You drag what controller you want to what side, the keyboard to the other side. And uh, you go ahead and hit play. And give it just a moment while it loads up. It's going to go ahead and uh, put split screen on both of them. On the side that I put the controller on, I'm going to make sure I hit enable controller so I could use that. And then the side I put for the keyboard is just going to load up and I'm just going to... Um, disable use of a controller just so there's no interference or anything like that and then also hosting a lobby on this is a lot more easier don't need to host a server or anything crazy um, like a dedicated server like we did before all you do is hit host game fill out you know all the rules name anything you can want right there okay I'm just gonna go ahead and start a server up here and then on the opposite screen, which I'm using the controller on, you can just hit browse games and boom, it's going to pop up there. It's a local game, you can join it. Choose your characters, play. Here, now you're both playing simultaneously, you're using the you know, completely the legit Steam version, so you should be able to do everything you could in the Steam version on this as well. Um, you can use keyboard and mouse. You can use two controllers. You can use a controller, keyboard, and mouse. Um, this should work on NVIDIA Shield streaming the exact same way. Just um, stream to your desktop. You know, I don't know if any of the people that watched it before, you know, specifically using the Shield, but, you know, it should work fairly the same. Um, so that is it guys.